Hello and welcome to Gen 4 at Pocono. It's 2016 Pocono, as you can see by the setup. And I'm not just saying it that way because I don't remember if that's Legacy Pocono or Modern Pocono. <laughs> um, whatever Pocono it is, hopefully we'll have ourselves a fun race here today. We are the number one. It's a bit of a late night race. It's about 11 p.m. 2.4k strength of field. Uh, iRacing says we're going to win, but... Uh, well, we'll see. I don't know about that. <laughs> I uh, don't know how I'm going to be on long runs. I'm feeling okay for uh, hot lap pace, but got to still go out there and get it done here for qualifying. So we'll see what happens. Best I got in the open practice was a 40, or rather a, wow, that'd be great, a 40-something. 53-4 is what I'm trying to say. As you can see on the bottom left. We'll try to get as close to that as we can, and uh, we're going to ease around the turn three. There's no reason to wear the tires out before the laps even count. So we'll ease through there, get a good run of the line, and see what we can do. Pocono is kind of an interesting track for me, because I either love it or hate it, and it really just depends on what car we're in, it feels like. I really don't like this place at tracks where draft is really big, or in cars that draft is really big, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, uh, because then you just get so stacked up on each other, and... Pardon me while I focus for a second. You get so stacked up on each other, and, uh, it just creates so many messes. Like, you'll get the four wide, and then... It never works. Everybody crashes. Not that great. I didn't take the tunnel turn that well that time. I kind of underdrove it, fortunately. Could, could have been better there. We'll see if we have anything for lap two. We won't have quite as good of a run into turn one, but... 53-7. Not too bad. We got times right now. Pretty good. Can we take turn two better this time? it sideways. Uh, better, but still not as good as I would like. And finally, turn three. Uh, is this going to be better or worse than the last one? Worse. Oh well. There's the flag. It's over. So far, so good, at least. It looks like it's holding up okay. I imagine guys are probably doing their second lap right now, though. Might uh, pick me off the top spot. Wait and see. I know I don't see the two yet. And uh, he was looking pretty fast. If he is the guy I remember seeing in practice, he had a pretty fast time. But I think we'll be starting pretty near the front. I can feel pretty good about that, even if it wasn't quite as good as I was running in practice. And uh, we're going to try a green flag pit stop, because you never know. Might need it. Watch there we go. That'll do it. Not the hardest pit road to get onto here, but it can be kind of difficult to judge how much you need to slow down before you get there. So I did give that a couple tries, and I feel like that was pretty decent. The two still has another lap to do, but he got really close, as you can see. Do I have that muted? No, I don't. Okay. The four still uh, needs to do a second lap. Could end up faster. A couple people still we're waiting on. As for... Uh, my decisions here went 12 to 1, negative 15, out of preference, 
And then I got the brake bias back. I don't know if that's how you want it necessarily for qualifying, but it's how I want to use it in the race, so I figured just get used to it while practicing my hot laps. That's generally how I do that, even if it may not be the optimal way to do it. That's the end of the session. You're on pole. Well done. Hey, we did it. Pole position. Sweet. So we'll see how we do, though. I don't know how I'm going to be on long run. That is still an open question. Facing toward the infield for some reason. Hello, pit crew member. Sunny day out. I see you need the sunglasses on. That's actually something I'm kind of glad we don't have realistic on iRacing is, uh, like, glare and stuff. Imagine if you just, like, couldn't see down certain straightaways at certain times of day. It would just be miserable. Like, you get, a like, a dusty windshield. And, hey, on top of that, if you want to add another thing, like, not being able to just take tear-offs anytime you want in certain cars. <laughs> like... You know, that's something that you actually have to physically do in real life. And here you just kind of press a button and uh, there's no issue. Real quick, comes off and you can see perfectly fine again. Only two sets of tires. Interesting. We'll have to be smart about how we use those. And it's looking like about 26 laps of fuel on a uh, full tank. So I guess we'll just uh, run the tank empty if this goes green. And pit when we need to. I don't really know how to save tires here, to be honest. I'm just going to try to make sure I don't overdrive the entries. Which is generally a good idea anyway at Pocono, because it's all about that runoff when you've got the huge straightaways. So generally a good idea not to overdrive the entry anyway. Just be smooth. Uh, try to get on the right rear. Apparently in qualifying we did that plenty enough, but... The car tends to get on the right rear easier early in runs anyway. So, we'll see how it goes. I can't even see the pace car. I can see like a little sliver right here. <laughs> now that it's gone, I know he's rolling. <laughs> Follow the pace car. The inside the green. You'll be lining up All right, we'll save fuel. We'll right maybe get an extra lap out of this thing if uh, if we can. Big track here. I hope we don't get too many cautions. I did hear it was a bit messy. Uh, someone mentioned they had a really messy race. ton of incidents. I hope that's not the case for our race. Um, I think a big thing here, letting everybody get spread out. If we uh, start getting cautions, everyone gets bunched up back again. I think that's just going to create more cautions. So I really hope we're able to you know, spread apart get some long runs because I think that'll just be healthy for the race overall. I do want to see what the jump is looking like. It's like uh, second gear start. That's not too surprising. Try to stop wasting fuel though. All right, man. We can barely make it a halfway. Get ready, going green. Make sure not to go too early. Pace car actually has to get to pit road. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. Okay, we're good. I think I. Uh, it's a little easier than I even needed to be getting up to speed. Seems like there's not too much wheel spin to worry about. Turn one. So far, so good. I see uh, two wide heading into turn two back there, though. Get through there pretty good. Good enough, at least. 
Okay, now let's make sure we're breaking enough for three. All right, that's a solid first lap. And uh, this car, I think, might be a good car to run at Pocono. There's not very much draft in this thing. Which is good news to me. Let your uh, inputs decide where you finish. Gotta get on the brakes pretty good if you want to take the uh, tunnel turn well, I think. Really easy to overdrive that. Come on, Brian. I like the way that felt. Felt like I had a lot of rotation through uh, turn three there. That might be good for long run. The guy behind has just done a 53 point tight. Got saris. I wonder if there's going to be a caution here. Gonna try to keep this steady. The guy behind is now seven. Uh not the greatest turn two for me there. I'd like to get pretty close to the inside line. Feels like I'm getting enough rotation, though. Maybe I'm going to end up too much rotation and actually do uh, hurt the right rear too much. We'll see. I haven't even watched anybody do this combo yet, so I don't really know what to expect the car to do long run or anything. But I had to lift a little bit. I got a little scared heading toward the wall. You really want to avoid doing that if you can. Because that little bit adds up to a whole lot. That's more how I like to take turn two. Like seeing that green when I exit the corner. All right, we got some space behind. I like it. 0.7 right now. Is it because I'm overdriving? Maybe. Could be. Find out eventually. Greatest turn one there. I feel like I could have gotten a little lower, probably. Yeah, not a very good turn two either. Make sure we're on the brake enough. You do have to use a lot of brake at Pocono. Gotta remember, we're entering the corners going about 190, if not friggin' 200, so. Gotta slow this thing down. That was at 54.3. Yeah, we're basically hitting 200. Let's get this thing slowed down, huh? Got a little bit loose there, kinda hurt my exit. I'm going to break a little bit earlier than I have been, I think, in the turn soon. Yeah, that's better. That's what I needed. Liked that a little bit more. Hold the brake a little bit longer. Keep getting some rotation with the brakes. All right. All right, I'm kind of getting into it.
So far, so good. No co- Oh my god, I had to open my ugly mouth. <laughs> Dang. Alright, well, you weren't clear there, dog. Come on. Alright, when I start saving, we haven't any questions yet. Is it too early? It might be too early to take a set of tires. We got a long way to go. And uh, we can't make it to the end on fuel, so. We'll just stay out, I think. Hopefully, the whole field doesn't stay out. Or, you know, go in, I mean. Alright. Pace car exiting one. It's tempting to say two right there. <laughs> Pocono uses a slightly different set of rules on how to define turns. If you really look at it, you could like make the argument like, yeah, Pocono has six turns. <laughs> Maybe five if you want to just count turn two as one, but the other ones are long enough, I think, at other tracks you'd probably get to call them two different turns. But uh, that would kind of fly in the face of the whole tricky triangle thing. You'd have to call it like the pesky pentagon or something. And uh, that's a little weird. Although that would be interesting. A pentagon-shaped track. I mean, at what point does that just become a road course, though? That's an interesting question, actually. At what point does an oval become a road course? I guess you would have to turn both directions, right? So, could you have, like... A dodecagon track? And it would still be an oval, even though you're, like, turning 12 times? I don't know. Are they going in? I'm not going in. It's too early. I ain't even faking. I'm a truther, not a liar. <laughs> Did anybody take it though? Uh, we got a couple. We got the 10 and the 9 and the 12. They could have been involved in the accident though, whatever happened. I know the 10 said something about not being clear, somebody not being clear. So that could just be damage being fixed. It is too early, I think, to take new tires if we only have two sets. Why am I not saving fuel? Someone tell me why I'm talking about dodecagons and not saving fuel under this pace car period. Pace laps, as intelligent people call them. I want to blab on about, oh, maybe we can get an extra lap. I'm out here clutching on the out lap. Here I'm revving my engine up to the thoughts of dodecagons. Uh, all right, well, I do want to test tire spin now that we have a couple laps on the tires. See how that's feeling. I'm looking at the Q bar up there. Yeah, the pace laps really are. That's the truth. I'm telling you, I'm a truth and not a liar. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Ah, <sighs> makes me long for Arca. Oh, well, that's fun stuff. That's fun times. Wait, this is an Arca? I thought they just made the Arca cars faster. Blows my mind. Pass. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Is this thing on? Little tiny bit. Tire spin. I heard it start making noises. Heating up the rears. One to go. Next okay, time by, you'll be lining up on the end of the So we'll think about it. Probably just uh, kind of start like we did the initial start, even though I think I could have pushed a little harder on the initial start. Oh, I was like, where on earth is this 12 I'm hearing all about? Yeah, they were late. I didn't get out of the pits in time. plan is still to go as long as possible, I think. Maybe a little bit 
earlier. Uh, that's right. I do want to. I do want to at least have two laps of fuel left in case I mess up my pit entry or can't get there because there's a car inside or something. I don't want to end up running out of fuel. So, not with one lap to, of fuel left, but when I have two laps left is when I'll come in. I think. I think that's a fair plan. So interestingly, the two is not starting P2. It's the seven. For some reason, I thought the two was behind us. But I guess the 7 got around him. So that's interesting. Hopefully uh, we didn't hurt our tires much more than the other guys. And uh, are going to be feeling it now. Uh, not spin out on the start. That'd be great if we could avoid that. The pace car is in. Green flag. Green flag. All right, that's good. I think I pushed even a little bit harder than the initial start, and it was okay. All's good. Start town. Got ourselves a nice little gap again already. They're side by side back there. I would like to see as much of that as possible, but I think the two was just uh, smart about it. He said, uh, go ahead, buddy. Oh my gosh, if my internet kicks me out again, I'm going to be so upset. The new modem hasn't worked, as you can see. We're going to have to figure out exactly what's wrong, because the modem wasn't in it. Just hoping it doesn't kick me again before we can figure it out. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's trying, perhaps. It kind of feels like you're driving on the highway sometimes. How long the straightways are. I drove that. That could have been much better. Woo! Something woo worthy is going on back there. I guess something crazy happened in the tunnel turn. Something crazy like entering too wide. Only crazy people do that. Okay, Don't look at previous videos of mine at Pocono. Seven's got some good speed. He's holding on to us. I didn't get turned down quite as much as I would have wanted. I'm kind of stinking right now. He, you, smells. Smells in here. I'm like underdriving every corner all of a sudden. I need to get it together. Remember, I'm breaking a little earlier than I have been here now. That's better than last lap, at least. Well, I mean, that lap felt better, but it wasn't 
actually better, so I don't know how to feel about that, but we went from point four to point five behind us, so I guess that's good. Not a good turn one. Again, I did I just didn't get low enough. Drove the tunnel turn. At least I feel like I did. Could be wrong about how I'm interpreting my performance on these corners. Like, I don't know, maybe that was the proper way to take the tunnel turn if I don't want to gross my tires. Just kind of judging by uh, what I'm feeling, and that's not always perfectly accurate, so. If I'm wrong, I'll learn. I'll learn about how and why I'm wrong <laughs> eventually. The seven's falling off, though. I think he pushed a little bit too hard, maybe. Didn't get as much rotation as I wanted there. Guess I'm just getting some natural fall off. So my lap times are definitely getting slower, but we're doing okay. Oh, something happened to the seven. He had a really bad turn three or something. It's too low, I think. It's too far down the track. sideways there too much want to be smoother than that on exit to get better runs off behind is now 1.4 yeah that could have been better too I, mean, I feel like I'm not driving very well but it, it's working I guess Maybe I'm just really hard on myself, I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, that was really bad. I, now, I know. Yeah, that was very bad. I just had a four-tire slide partway through turn two there. And uh, it, that was very scary for a moment. And a caution. <sighs> Alright. I think it's time we take a set of tires. Can't make it to the end still, I don't think. But... We use the tires too much. I was gonna tell him where the pace car was, but that guy was talking. Yep. Uh, so we had about 26 laps on a full tank. We just, we can't make it to the end. I don't think you can save that much. This place, you can't save four laps, I don't think. I mean, just look how much a lap is. This place is huge. Big difference between saving four laps of fuel at Bristol and four laps of fuel here at Pocono. That's a big task. So, I don't, I just, I don't think we can make it to the end. 18.3 gallons. 18.3 gallons. Yeah. We're under caution. That's it's a closed. bit much. We'll see what it says, though. I 
definitely have to come in though, at least for fuel. He's only got nine laps. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be doing their own thing, but here we come. Pit lane speed limit is 55. Did I make that guy speed? I hope I didn't. I wasn't trying to. I was just trying to make sure I uh, didn't just let him get right up to me. Alright, that was a good stop. Get out of the way, GeForce Game Ready Driver. 82, 83, alright. Share that. Move it, move it. Be mindful, you only have one set of cars remaining. Line up that, uh, Get stop 10. See start. if anyone else does. I'm curious to see what other guys are doing, how they're doing. 5.8 gallons. 84.88. Yeah, he's better. Tires. I'm a little more even, though, so maybe that's something. We gotta go catch the, uh... Have something like granny. Boy, the fuel got interesting. Yeah, I feel like the cooking stress is over here. Really, sir. I'm skeptical we can make it because, you know, even if you're a couple laps short, the laps are huge here. Well, of course, yellow. It's all right. Yeah, I thought it was a little early. There's definitely going to have to be some saving involved, that's for sure. Unless we get a yellow. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be another caution. You'd think, but you never know. So 10, two tires, I think. I don't know about that move, but... Maybe he just took fuel only? That would make sense, save a set of tires. I just hope this guy doesn't uh, spin him up and end up right in my left side door. I think leader took two, so just a note. Be tired, sir. Catch the pace car. All I ask is that we don't die in a tire spin explosion. Well, then we won't have to worry about fuel. That's true. And our cars are full of fuel, so it's a bigger explosion. <laughs> Less fuel, bigger explosion. Oh, boy. Well, we're also going to have to watch out if he does spin his tires that we don't give ourselves a black flag, either. Saving as much fuel as we can here. Catch the pace car. Five point four gallons. I don't think we'd be able to make it to the end, man. I think we have to try though. About to go green, stay focused. Hopefully we get a good jump, but not too good of a jump. Pace car is off. Green, 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 green. The next car is the leader. All right, I think we're good. You are the leader, nice and smooth. You're up top, three wide. In top three Still wide. wide. Still inside. Keep high. All right, get the run off. We have the lead. Bit of a tricky operation there, but we figure it out.
Get a tunnel turn, adjusting to having some more grip again. Which is nice. Remember, that's temporary, though. Don't start trying to drive like this later. Tires are giving up a little more. I just, I don't think, I'm just going to go. I don't think we can save enough fuel. I don't think it's possible. They proved me wrong, so be it. I think we just go. No guarantee we get uh, caution free anyway. I think some guys might be trying it. Noticed a couple names might have uh, fallen back a little bit. So we're back up front. Survive the restart. The guy didn't spin his tires or anything. Just about to halfway. Coming to twenty six to go. Uh oh. Abnormal lap discontinuity. Well, that's my internet doing. What's that internet doing? Keep an eye on it still. I mean, what am I going to do about it, though? Hit it with a newspaper? I don't know, maybe that would fix it. Maybe if I could just go over to my uh, router and just smack it with a newspaper, it'll start to behave. At the very least, it seems like I'm, I'm not blinking too much. Like, when I watch videos that I'm in and stuff, it seems like even when I know I've had internet issues, I think it's my upload that's having troubles more than my download. I don't think that makes any difference, but... <laughs> the fact that I'm trying to... Out is, I blink once in a while, but I'm not gone for entire corners from what I can see, at least. Which... I would stop racing if I if it were that bad. I don't want to ruin people's races that way, and it's no fun for me to race that way either. People running into me because they can't see me. That's no good for anybody, so... At least it's not to that point, and if it does, then my highest priority becomes fixing the internet, and that's already pretty high priority. We got a second behind us. 4.6 gallons. 4.6 gallons is what we're estimated to need. Well, uh, we'll keep listening to that, I guess. Yeah, that's really fluctuating. So who even knows, to be honest, but... I just, I'm gonna just go. I don't think we can save enough.
I guess the next question becomes, when do we pit then? Do we try a splash and go to the end? I don't know, I don't think about, I don't think that's gonna be it, is it? What do we do? Do we pit halfway through this run? That's pretty risky. I took that weird that time, but it worked. I don't know what I was thinking there, but it kind of worked out, so I guess we're okay. I guess I'm going to take turn three weird, too. I'm really shallow. We're just getting creative here on lap 28. That kind of worked, too, though. Maybe I should do more of that. It's kind of one of those things, like, you, I don't think I could do it again exactly like that if I tried. Kinda worried those guys are gonna be able to make it to the end or something. Oh, that was a terrible turn to you. Gross. Sickening. I'm gonna have to move my uh to move my breaking point back a little bit again, I think. Getting to that point in the run. And we're getting loose out of three, okay. Lap twenty nine is the lap where we do terrible. I guess. 28 is the uh, experimental lap, 29 is the lap where I do terrible. What's lap 30 going to be? What are we going to do this lap? Crash and burn? We'll have a decent turn one, I guess. What are we going to do in turn two? Break earlier, that's one thing I'm going to do. Hey, have a better tunnel turn in this lap. That's one thing we're gonna do. And be more gradual on the throttle. Through three. That was the fix my mistakes the previous lap. Lap 30. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> In that episode of Pocono. I, I think they might be saving fuel back there. I don't think I'm gaining this much because we're all going all out, so that's concerned, man. We're not saving. Not saving enough. I mean, we do though. So last pit lap 20, 50 lap race, so right in the middle. Be what, 35? We pit lap 35? I don't think we do. 37? Maybe we wait and see what they do. That might be smart. I've got a little bit of gap, so I don't have to make any rash decisions. Maybe I just watch what they do behind me, let this gap continue to grow, and then maybe start pitting just as soon as they do. I think that's a pretty smart plan. Take the weight off. Uh-oh. No. No, 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 no. Not again. Not again. Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. If this happens, I'm not going to race again until we fix the internet. So that can't be acceptable. No, don't do this to me. Please. Please. Come back. Why is this happening to me? It's been too long. There's no way, There's no way it's coming back. Left. I can't believe that just happened again. I can't believe that just happened again. Oh my god. Well, 
I've got some uploads I can upload this week, but you're not going to see me again until the internet's fixed, because that can't happen anymore. That is just devastating. Ugh. I don't understand, man. It says I'm connected to the internet still. <sighs> well, that's it, I guess. I'm not coming back. Uh, time to go fix the internet. The new modem didn't do it. Thanks for watching. Sorry it ended that way. <laughs>